In Libya, NATO feel the wrath of the rebel command amidst claims of civilian deaths at the hand of government forces. For the details, let's go inside the National. We meet the Emirati magician that can make dirhams disappear. Prestidigitation or power beyond reason? The wibbling rivalry continues as our Liam tells us about the night of the fight that split Oasis. Something to keep a beady eye on. Now, being a magician isn't the most common vocation for a young Emirati man. Indeed, to our knowledge, there's only one in the country. Ashraf Helmi packed his playing cards, his rabbits and his hats for this report. This is the Middle East's answer to David Blaine, Chris Angels and David Copperfield. Emirati illusionist Main al Bastaki has decided Arabs can do magic too, and he means business. Yeah. We are here today in Dera City Centre. The aim is to go and bug some people's mind, do some magic, get them freaked, and let's see how it's going to go, yeah? Follow me, let's see. Okay, we have got two cans here. I'm going to put this down for now, yeah? Now, I'm going to have you pick one of these two. Now, we need some little bit... Yeah? Pick one? Pick one of these two. I'm going to have the lady... I'm going to have... The, okay, the lady pick, pick one. one. On. Which one do you want to pick? Can I take this? She picked one. This one. You picked one, yeah? I want you to start shaking this as much as you can. Just I'm going to put this down. You can take it and shake it as much as you can. Shake it. Take it and shake it. Shake it as much as you can. Shake, 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 shake. What happens when you shake a can of a Pepsi or a 7 blow. blow up, isn't it? Exactly. So you can, you're done with that? You're happy? Not happy on, yet? You much. can give it to him. You can shake it. Let's have several, several, several people shake this one up. Don't open it. No, don't open it. <laughs> Just shake it. You want to shake it? Here you go. But then don't, yeah, don't throw it down. Just shake it, yeah? Good? You're happy with this? You guys are good with this one? Yeah, this is shaken up. If I open this tour, you guys, you guys are going to be showered with Pepsi. Exactly. Now, in a second, what am I going to do? We did not touch that one. We'll could keep this down. I'll do this. I'll take this up. I'll take the whole power from that, the whole fizz thing, the explosion from that. And I'm going to take it and throw it here. Can I open that now? I'll open that. Can I do that? You can do it. Open this one up. Just careful. 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 Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Keep this down. Now there is going to be a, a bit of explosion here. <laughs> Who wants to see this? Something happened here. We did not even touch this one. It was that that was shake. Thank you very much and you can have this one. We don't want the Arab world to always be talking about the people outside, outside the Arab world. Like we can always talk about Copperfields and Chris Angels, but then why not have the people from outside talk about people that are inside the country or in, in the UAE or in the Arab world that can do the same thing that the Copperfields and Chris Angels can do but, and also maybe better than them. But it hasn't all been now, yeah? plain sailing. Magic in the Arab world has been viewed as something taboo, even connected to the occult and there are some critics who want to see him disappear in a puff of smoke. In this society, when I am doing something like magic or illusion, it's something very new. It's like a new baby. And until they get that new baby and deal with it, and they know how to, how to sort of go, go ahead with accepting that field, it's going to take them time. So can he put the Arab world on the magical map with his tricks? He hopes so, and his next challenge will be burying himself alive, live on television. He could well give the art form in the region a new lease of life. Ashraf Helmi, Inside the so National. The and we'll have more from Moen after the break, when he'll be showing us his most dangerous stunt. Earlier in the show, we introduced you to the Emirates' answer to David Copperfield and David Blaine. As promised, he's back, showing us one of his more dangerous stunts. Don't try this at home. Uh, oh, what to tell you, man. I'm going to be putting my whole body on fire. Not that I've not done this before, I've done it a couple of times, but then the thinking that goes before the, before the whole execution of putting yourself on fire is big. It's, you're putting your whole body on fire and anything might go wrong. And if it goes wrong, that's the end of it. There is no more Moin al there is no more illusions from my end. So I, uh, I, would, I wanted to do this on TV and who's better than inside the national to do this for them. They are like great people. and. I'm, I'm a big fan of them, and 
I'm, I'm, I'm giving this gift of doing it for the whole population of the Arab world, of UAE itself, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, and hopefully it's going to go well and hopefully nothing will happen, but then you never know. And this is how we do it in Dubai. And if you want to learn more about this up and coming Emirati illusionist, then log on to his website. The details are at the bottom of the screen. Until tomorrow, for me, Matt Sansom, and everyone on the team, thanks for watching and bye bye.